All right, so I'm here at my Game Developers Conference in San Francisco, California, and it's cool. Last year, they were actually doing a little bit of renovation, and it's looking beautiful now. If you look at behind me, it is amazing. All the cool things, all that that bridge right up there is new, uh, and I'm heading over to West Hall, so hopefully we'll be able to find some cool things over there and maybe see some friends. See you in a little bit. Right here I have with me is Pavel Karlov. Yeah. Did I say it right? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Perfect. And I, what I did was I actually got a, like a little cool like you know deck of his game, and he's he's actually building a game from scratch, and it's this game right here. It's called World it? of Myths. World of Myths, and it actually has a kind of Hearthstone look kind of feel to it, but it plays a little bit differently. Each player has tempos, three tempos that you need to destroy. Mm -hmm. So you choose attackers, you can select multiple attackers, then choose which tempo you want to destroy, and then your opponent has a chance to defend himself and block your attack. And we just compare the total attack versus the total defense and deal damage to the tempo. So this is a physical and a, a no, digital or mainly digital? Mainly digital. When is this coming out? Uh, in May. May? Entering in the access in May with two mythologies and for the release by the end of the year we will have eight mythologies. And it, uh, for what kind of devices for? Uh, first we will have the PC only but in two months we will have the mobiles as well. Awesome! Well thank you very much for showing me your game and good luck. Thank you very much. Alright, well here, we'll see you later. Hey guys, it's Jay, and we're here at GDC 2019 here with my crew. Woo! Yeah, what's up? It's uh, Tuesday. Is it Tuesday right yes, now? It's, it's Tuesday. Yes, it's Tuesday. It's okay, all day. we've been here since Sunday, and we've been partying our asses off. We've been going everywhere. We've been totally meeting a lot of people. We're gonna be having a good time, right, guys? Woo! All right. Yep. What? Oh, there he is. Hey, look at that. We're here in West Hall. West Hall is the place to have that has all the workshops and all the things going on, mainly summits and talks and everything like that. But we're here, we're gonna be talking to a guy uh, that has really cool technology, so stay tuned. What's up guys, this is David Kingslayer Flores. We're here at GDC in the West Hall 2019. I'm here with my man Misha from Mio, and please tell us what you have right here, bro. Right, so we have this company called Mio, and we make 3D avatars out of 2D video. So basically be able to bring like real people, like video quality people with all your micro expressions and all the things that make your face you mm -hmm. um, into a 3D environment, like gaming, AR, VR. And the cool thing is we don't need any fancy equipment, just a smartphone or a uh, webcam will do the trick and we do the rest. How did you exactly get this technology or what made you do this? What did, why did you want to see this in the community? What do you think like the benefits are of it? Sure, sure, sure. So we've worked on this tech for about three years. Mm -hmm. um, and finally kind of getting it out there. Um, we just think that there's this emerging 3D environment. It's like AR, VR, and gaming is great because gaming is uses 3D environments all the time and is obviously huge. Of course. Um, we think that people are the killer app of any technology, of any platform. Like the only reason we use technology is to have better lives and connect with people that we care about. Of course. So if you want to look up here for a moment, you can see like I can, you know, here obviously, here looks like the most like me if you look up there. You know, I can easily change my look <laughs> at the tap of a button and really look however we want to look. Okay, so then let me ask you, are you able to, since it's just strictly made for you, does that have to take picture of your face or could that change to someone, anyone in the crowd and jump onto them? Should we find out? Let's find out. Oh, yeah. oh shit. Yeah, right. so, yeah. so I can turn you into your sandwich. Yeah, let's see. I want to see this. Awesome. Let me see what we can do. Hey, oh. <laughs> So what we're doing right now is we have an, uh, a, we're working on uh, making the SDK ready for Unreal. That'll be ready in about three or four months. We'll have Unity by the end of the year. Where would you like to see this go? Like, what would be the goal, your dream to see sure. this go? So, so ultimately, so here's what we see. It's like the very biggest companies mm -hmm. um, may make their own avatar stack. And that's totally fine. Like Facebook might do that. You know, Facebook's doing that. Um, Snapchat, Google, fine. But like every other company, all the other thousands of companies, tens of thousands of companies that do gaming or anything in 3D, it's really hard to make avatar technology and do a really good job. It took us three years, and we're experts. Mm -hmm. okay. And so we want to be the folks that power that technology for everybody else. Um, if you need real people in your games, if you want micro-expressions, you want that nuance, that immersion of being in there, 
let us handle it. Well, you guys heard it here first. I'm here with Misha, Mio, the next cutting edge technology, live rendering, 3D. You can get your facial expression there. Let them know. Uh, would you like to say anything else before we go? End this interview? Um, no, nah, just email us and big hugs. Hey, <laughs> I'm King Slayer from the Nerd Colony at GDC 2019. We'll see you next time. Okay, so here on West Hall, uh, over here is the kind of Ubisoft booth way over here. You can kind of see what's going on. Uh, if you can tell, there's a lot of people going here. Uh, the exhibition hall, the exhibits hall, will be open on Wednesday. And while people are here, they talk. They go to talks and they check out things like this board right here. This is like the convention at a glance. Uh, and each section has a group of talks that people can go to according to your speciality. So if you want to go an animation route or if you want to go a game design route, you can do that and find the talks that are specific to your speciality. And that's really cool. Over here is the indie mega booth. Right over here. A bunch of indie people, they make games and they kind of show it off over here and it's really, really, really cool. So uh, a lot of the things you see like in the like Nintendo Switch or like you see in like Steam, it's usually shown here first and they're probably the hottest things that usually come out. So uh, that's West Hall kind of in a nutshell. Okay, it's Jay from Nerd Colony. Right here we have Jessica and you know what? She's repping this whole new thing from Google. What's going on, girl? Look at that. It's the new console from Google and they're going to be showing off right here and this is like we're actually behind it. That's the little squiggly thing for it. But yeah, we, we got a brand logo. There you go. Product specialist behind us. We're going to get gaming. Hey. All right, so I just came back from the third floor. And the third floor at West Hall, not only do they have all the talks there, they also have board game section where you can totally check out all the modern board games as uh, reviewed by Shut Up and Sit Down, I believe. Those YouTube guys are really, really cool. You should check them out. Shut Up, Sit Down. Uh, now I'm going to second floor. I was at the second floor before, but now I'm going to check out how I find my homie. So we're going to go say hi. So I'm here at second floor and I'm like trying to blog with my yeah, friends and everything. Yeah. And what? Oh my gosh. Who did I find? Is Game Hop himself. Up, it is Godric. What is up? How you doing? Up, Jay, man. What are you doing, man? Believe, man. Oh, believe. What's up? What's up with you, man? Man, nothing much, man. Just here catching GDC. Year 14. Street, you know, this is my homie. I've been I've been over this guy for like a long, long time, time, man. Every long every time. But it's all good, man, because it's you know it's GDC. Everybody's GDC. all getting together, and it's all cool and all that stuff. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Going down the escalator, going down the escalator with the crew. Going down to get something to eat, cause we're hungry. Hey, what's up, all? This is Game Developers Conference Day Three. Wednesday and I'm here with my boy Francisco. Say hi. What's up? All right, we're gonna be going to South Hall. We're gonna check out the exhibits in there. And then we're probably gonna to go to North Hall. There's some other things going on there. And we're gonna check out some indie games. So stick around and we will check out what's going on. What's up? We're in South Hall and I'm going with my boy, Harry Berto. How you doing? So we're gonna check out more stuff. Hey, look and check it out. There's all this crazy stuff going on down there. And you know what? We're gonna be in the middle of all that shit. Yes. All right, check it out. I'm at the Unreal booth, and up here is a llama pinata that people are riding to try and get a llama pinata, a, a real llama pinata. I don't know what's in it. We're gonna try and get a score one today. All right. Uh, apparently they're not doing llama pinatas this year, like actual llama pinatas. Like that was last year. This year they're gonna be giving away shirts, and uh, yeah. So what's gonna happen is a llama battle, what's going on? Uh, I've challenged David Flores to a llama battle, may the best man win. Hey David, you got anything to say about this llama battle? King Slayer don't lose. Oh, here we go, the challenge is on. David King Slayer Flores against... Best llama. Best llama. Harry Berto. Oh, Do you think you won? I hope I won. And here goes David, the King Slayer Forest. How'd that be? 
deal. It was a lot harder than I thought it was. <laughs> the winner, winner. Oh. Woo. No contest. Woo. No contest. We're here at the Unreal booth. They're giving away a lot of stuff. They're giving away bottles. There's Liz. What's up? Hi. Giving away bottles and T-shirts. All you have to do is play some stuff. And popcorn. Oh, look at that popcorn. Look at that popcorn. Look at that. They give away popcorn here. It's a riot around here. Oh wait, that's not. That's not. That's the competition. One of the things you have to do around here, especially in a convention like this, where there's a lot of like swag, is you got to get a bag. And right now, I'm trying to look for a bag so I can put all my stuff in. And I cannot find one right now. But I'm pretty sure I'll find one pretty soon. So. Uh, I'm heading, doing some recon, trying to check out other places to see if I can get more stuff and get more connections and more networking. So, uh, let's stick around. All right, guess who I found? I found my boy Tyler. How you doing? Pretty good. And uh, Tyler, where you at? Uh, I'm at Turtle Rock now. I've been here for about two years, so. That's awesome, man. You know, what's really cool about like GDC is that you see people that you've never seen before or haven't seen in a long time. Like, Tyler is a student at my school that I used to teach at, so like, How's it going for you? How's the, how's the convention? Yeah, it's been great. We did a little recruitment mixer last night. Nice. Tons of interest. We just announced a couple of games. So Sweet. It's been, uh, been pretty crazy. Hey, anything you can say in the camera? Uh, just keep an eye out for Back for Blood. It's going to be pretty sweet. It's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's, we're, we're basically uh, taking everything that we learned and wanted to do on, on Left 4 Dead back in the day and then uh, making it better. Awesome. Well, thank you, Tyler, for hanging out with us, and we'll see you later. Check this out. It's a beeline. Uh, I scored a bag. It didn't take long. It's a nice, like, uh, canvas bag. For you guys. It's pretty cool. Usually they give away these, like, kind of really flimsy vinyl ones, but most places will probably do that. But I got a good, nice canvas bag to put my stuff in. All right, so I'm just coming out right now. I'm probably gonna come back later on, but you know what? I got my bag and it's full of stuff right now and I'm gonna come back and fill it again. But you know what? There's other things going on. If you go to my right here, there is the Google area and they just announced a console. I'm gonna check that out. Just pass and check, and check this out. There is a VR area right here, right? And we're coming out of like West Hall, but I really didn't know about this stuff right behind me. It's a huge ass area. And apparently it's under in between the two like North and South Hall. So we're gonna try and check that out. What's up? I'm wandering around here, and guess who I saw? It's my buddy Brian. How's it going? How you doing, Brian? What do you do? I'm one of the character artists that, well, the only character artist that in Exile at this time. In Exile, and so I've been coming here for a long time, and every time I come here, I have people that I see all the time, only at like these conventions. And Brian's one of them, and he's a real cool dude. Uh, right we're <laughs> nerds, just like everyone else. What are you nerding out on right now? Uh, I'm really amazed as to the kind of weird ambivalence I have about Captain Marvel. Oh, well, that's that's a that's a jar of pickles right there. <laughs> oh, I'd like to open it, but we don't have time on this video anyway. Anyway, so, it's good to see you, and uh, you want to see some of these other nerds out there? Just keep grinding. We'll see ya. <laughs> 